All right, so today I'm gonna be changing out these spark plugs and I'm gonna show you how to change them out. I already changed out all the spark plugs except for one. And as I was changing them out, uh, a wire ended up breaking, pulling out the boot. So I had to replace the wires as well. So right now, the last spark plug I have to change is on cylinder four. This is a V8 engine. Uh, 318 so if you have this engine you're familiar with it um, if not you have something else then it's pretty much the same process except for plug plug wires you'll have ignition coils um, it's a lot easier dealing with ignition coils because you don't have to deal with all these wires and if you get these wrong the location wrong on the distributor or you don't know the fire order then you can do all of this go to crank the car and nothing it won't start so uh first thing you want to do is locate your spark plugs now for some this may be harder than others for me you can come right here you can look my spark plugs on the side of the engine just above the exhaust manifold one two three four and i got four on that side i already did that side i had to take off the cold air intake some other stuff but I got it no problem second thing you want to do is have the right tool please have the right tool for the job this is a spark plug socket most vehicles will use standard 5 8 socket now you'll notice when you look in this socket there's a boot what this does is it grabs the actual spark plug and it sits on there and pushes it through the boot in the socket so that it doesn't move so when you take it out it won't drop down in and you have to use a magnetic pickup tool to lift it out or when you go to put it back in it'll keep it steady so you don't cross the threads which is easily which is easily achieved when you're doing spark plugs so make sure you have the right tool if you don't have one of these tools specifically designed for changing spark plugs get a piece of garden hose uh, rubber anything you can find stick on the end of it so uh, spark plug I'm going to be changing is right here. I already did all of them. This is the last one left. I'm not going to waste time showing you how to do all of them because I want to show you how to do one. The rest of them are as follows. So you want to get your tool. Get you a nice ratchet. I have a ratchet right here. Bought it at Harbor Freight. It was a good buy. It bends in all different types of shapes, all types of crazy ways. So I can get in there and get the job done first thing you want to do is disconnect the negative battery cable see I got that disconnected you don't want to do this with it connected you could short out your ECU you could shock yourself mess up something else you just don't want to do it so what we're gonna do is take this boot off you're gonna to want to pull on it like so and it doesn't want to come off so if this happens to you get you some pliers and you want to make sure you have a good grip on the boot and yank it out ended up yanking out more than I wanted to, but that's all right. Next, you want to get your tool and you want to fish down in here. You want to fish down in here. And make sure that's locked on there. Then you want to take your ratchet Use a 3 8 drive ratchet. Don't use a half inch. Please don't. All right, got that on there. Now you just want to loosen it.
know, you can see how I'm utilizing this tool and it fits perfectly with the groove and this valve cover. I don't have to worry about getting a longer extension or this valve cover being in the way. Comes in handy. And this is what I mean by having the right tool for the job. This socket stuck onto this spark plug. So instead of it backing all the way out the threads and it just loosely spinning in there, it grips onto it and allows you to pull it out. Old spark plug, new spark plug. Another reason you want to change your spark plug, not just because it's time with a manual says so, this can actually rob your engine of power, not enough spark getting to where it needs to carry the load, whatever you have in your vehicle. Uh, you can notice symptoms like your vehicle bogging down, it's not as peppy as it used to be, feels lackluster. Um, poor gas mileage is another common symptom of having worn out right. spark plugs. All right, so to get my spark plug, the new spark plug, back in the actual spark plug um, hole, take this special socket, and you'll notice I push it down on there and it grips it. See? That's not going nowhere until it threads in there. Now you don't, you want to take your extension and put it in here without the ratchet. You want to finger tighten it first because it's very easy to mess up these threads in the engine block. So you want to turn it as much as it'll go. Once you get it in there as snug as you can get it, make sure you want to take the ratchet, put the ratchet on it. Which is easier said than done. And you just want to turn it ever so slightly. You don't want to over tighten it. I probably gave it not even a full turn past finger tight. Because you're really going to have a bad day. If this separates in the engine block on you or it breaks. Next thing you want to do Is get your new wire then you want to look at the old wire we pulled this wire out of this spark plug so you want to trace it all the way back to the distributor here and you can see and you can see that is this wire right here so you pull that out damn distributor that'll come out <laughs> yeah but and then you just fish this through oh why now you want to hit that with some electrical contact cleaner, the post on your distributor. Just give it a good wipe down. Next, what you want to do is on the boot, on the new one, get some dielectric grease, smear some in there. Take it on the one contacting the post on the distributor and put some in there too. that on there then you gotta route it underneath of these wires in the exact same fashion that 
that you pulled it out from. Which is also easier said than done. And you want to take it over here, route it up under there. Then you're ready to come around here, plug it in. And you're done. It should snap. You should feel it catch. It should snap in the plate. 